Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Bad and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you are an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. Happy Saturday. I am headed out to run a few errands. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm still having to wear cover-ups and um things over my dresses because i do still have my drains in and then i woke up this morning and one of my drains was not functioning so i emailed my doctor's office um to try to get in early um monday or tuesday to go ahead and have it removed <laughs> i am a nurse i probably could remove it by myself but i'm not gonna do it um so yeah but anyway this dress is old it's from h m um i couldn't fit it before i lost my 30 pounds and you know I love to shop my closet, and that's one of the things that I'm definitely looking forward to because I, ha I know I have a lot of things in there that I cannot, that I was unable to fit before my weight loss. So anyway, um, you guys have seen this kimono a thousand times last summer. It's just something I was supposed to be, you know, caring for She Beauty, but we, we never made it there, but it's okay. It is okay. She Beauty will be... Um, I can't give y'all a date of when I will be having um, more products, but just know that She Beauty is still my company and I will be introducing new items um, as soon as I can, as soon as I can. So anyway, I have Gucci on the feet. I have my little dainty skating watch on today that I never, never wear. Let me show you guys. I love this watch. Very girly, very dainty. I have on... Um, this gold necklace. I'm not real sure where I got it from, guys. Maybe Express? I don't know. Chanel earrings. Um, and then I'll just be carrying my toiletry 26 that I really need to switch out, but I'm just too lazy to switch out purses right now. And then if you are following me on Instagram, then you will know the fragrance or scent of the day is Valentina, Valentino Born in Roma because I am in a very girly, um, boho chic type of mood today. So we went with something very, very sweet and girly and fun. So I'm about to head to Target and then I need to go to the grocery store. Um, and first, first stop, of course, is gonna be Starbucks. Yeah, I can make coffee here, but you can also judge your mama. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so we're gonna go to Starbucks. Um, and as you can tell, guys, this is post-op day 10, and I feel fantastic. I did somewhat somewhat of my own lymph, lymph, lymphatic drainage massage this morning after my shower. I told you guys I looked up um, how to do the massages myself, and I will probably schedule um, my first massage um, next week post-op because I haven't had one since I had one at the doctor's office. So I will start doing those because I didn't want to have to have someone to drive me to a massage. Now that I'm driving on my own and I feel very comfortable driving on my own, then I can start doing um, the lymphatic massages. But anyway, right now I'm rambling. I just wanted to show you guys my OOTD. So let's hit the streets. Let go. I swear, sometimes I wish I was a pajama person because y'all, this is so freaking cute. And of course they got the music blasting, so. But y'all, this, I might just buy this. Like, I don't know, I might wear this out somewhere. No, I'm just playing. So the pants are 17 and then the top is, oh, they have it in shorts. <gasps> oh my God, I need this. So the top is 14 and I think the shorts are, oh, they, do they have the shorts in medium? What is this? Let's see. Shorts are $12.99. What do y'all think? I'm just not a pajama person. That's super duper cute though. So for someone who is a pajama person, y'all, they got cute pajamas at Tajay. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I cannot wait to try on bikinis. This will probably probably be one of the first things I do when I get my drains out next week. Even though I'm not allowed to get in a pool or take a bath um, for six weeks. Oh, look at this one. 
Now, I know this will fit the girls. What do what the bottoms look like? Oh my God, y'all. I cannot wait. <gasps> Super duper cute. Oh my God. Okay, y'all know that I am a clutch girl. OMG, this is super cute. This mirror is disgusting. So yeah, y'all know I love a good clutch and this is a perfect summer clutch. OMG, I need this skirt. They don't have it in my size. I don't have to look online. That looks like a uh, extra extra large how they playing beyonce you know what target is pissing me off with all this music i can't even vlog this is pretty i don't know about the color though this is not a very summery color to me like i'd rather buy black than buy the rust color and i have a black slip dress we will not be buying another <sighs> let's go look at the shoes guys all right, guys, these are very, very cute. This is a six, six. That's a 10, it's too big. I need a nine, it's a nine and a half. Let's see. Very cute. They don't have a nine. Look online though. Very cute. These would be so pretty with um, a cute summer ma maxi dress or even a shorter dress. And I see Target out here looking like Ross. Yeah, about to. Hmm. Um, y'all know, and y'all know how I feel about Ross. Not to do it, but these are kind of cute. Okay, so these are super cute, but guys, when I tell you this shoe department is a hot mess and I'm just, I'm not here for it. These are cute too. I tried on the eight and a half. I actually need a nine, but they look super cute on, especially with me having my toes done. Or especially since my toes are white. There's a nine. Let's try these on. I like the raffia mule better. I mean, the, the wedge is better. But these are cute. I actually really like these. I like the olive green and the tan together. Because this is, this is the color that I really plan to wear a lot of this summer. Um, these are really cute, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm really feeling this raffia. I hope I'm I, I hope that's correct if it's not y'all let me know down in the comments but that's what we calling it but these are super cute super super cute so I'll look for these online I'm gonna go ahead and pass on those and I'm gonna also look for the um, the wedges that I tried on for you guys but yeah this shoe department is yeah not not today not today target <laughs> like these are super cute and this is kind of like my vibe but y'all i just i cannot it is so unorganized in here these are kind of cute kind of remind me of something i saw at h&m and i also love the color i'm really into pink i think i've told you guys that you know 34 that's not bad oh look they have them in tan over there on the floor of course so I don't know, I'm gonna try online or I'll just try another Target to see if they are a little bit more organized, but this is not good for my anxiety. So we gotta go. If you are new here, okay, I'll say it again. This is an excellent, excellent um, eyebrow pencil. In my opin opinion, it's um, a very good dupe for the Anastasia uh, brow pencil and it's a fraction of the cost it's only six bucks so and then elf also has one um that is very very good the only downside i would say about these um eyebrow pencils is that you to me you don't get a whole lot of product which you may find yourself buying it more often than you would if you went ahead and got the anastasia so yeah 
So if you're looking for a really nice, um, uh, what do you call it, fragrance mist without, you know, breaking the bank, Mix Bar has really good options. And then I've heard really good things about their fragrances. I've never bought one, but um, yeah. And guys, I have not been using my scrubs because I do not want anything to irritate my incision. This one is one of my faves. This smells so, so good. Cotton candy. I haven't smelled that one, but Helen recently talked about the watermelon scent. And she said that it smells really, really good. Now, this one here is also another fave of mine. This smells so good, guys. And also the Moroccan, the Moroccan rose. So I don't see the watermelon, but Helen says the watermelon smells really, really good. But oh, look, so they have the mix bar here. So they have premium beauty minis, buy three, get one free. So they have a mini for $5.99. This is the one that I sprayed on this morning, guys. This smells amazing. They got Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist first. Wow, look, they have the natives if you don't want to get a big bottle. So they have this vitamin C facial wash by Soap and Glory. Okay, so the Pacifica, y'all, and I did, I burned myself with the oven, so excuse that ugly burn. But this is Glow Baby Brightening Face Wash by Pacifica. I think I'm gonna get this one instead of this one. Or should I get both? I don't like to use too many different things on my face. You know, I can't be messing up my face. What is this? Oh, I think these are bath bombs. <laughs> but we can't take a bath, so that's a nope. today about you doing something for you saying no relaxing resetting recharging you know you know the whole deal girl so today's Sunday I was just coming to you guys from the bathroom to kind of give you guys an update on how everything is looking how everything is going so I'm not going to give you a scar update in this video because my scar pretty much looks the same um, I'm hoping to get in at the doctor's office tomorrow because this drain is no longer functioning the bulb has come off i did put a knot in it so that i don't get any air in it and i decided that i was not going to remove it on my own but child i thought about it i thought about it so and i do have my um compression garment on this is like an abdominal binder faha type deal um so i do have that on but i am hoping and praying that they remove this drain as well um, because there's not, and the guys, this is just my bandage from my um, drain that's sticking out like that. But anyway, so I'm hoping that um, they remove this drain as well, so I can go go ahead and get into my stage one faha. And I will say, when I first did a review on the Skims boy shorts, I didn't really like them and I still really don't like them because as you can see, honey, I am thick thigh, thick thigh friendly, okay? <laughs> Baby, these thighs save lives. <laughs> so um, I don't like them because they uh, roll up. So we'll not be investing in more of these, but you guys know how I feel about the Skims dress. So yeah. We will be getting more of those but anyway guys um i am still on the snatched side as you can see um still wearing this um for majority of the day now i will say this does get a little bit uncomfortable for me so if i'm lying in bed i will go ahead and release it um i will not get up and do any activity without having this on I know a lot of you are like, keep it on 24 seven, 24 seven. And I do, I will say I'll do, I, I do more of um, 22 to 23, I mean to 24 hours a day. Y'all, this is no joke, okay? And then sometimes it does get a little uncomfortable at my incision area. 
but I do wear, I do have pads that go underneath here and I do have some gauze that I occasionally put um, underneath my scar area. But for the most part, guys, I am recovering and healing so well. I'm so happy with my results. Today is post-op day, I think 12. Yeah, because Wednesday will make two full weeks. Yay, me. Um, and I feel good. I feel good. So, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update. I will give you a scar update probably in week three or week four um, or, or when I start to see some changes. Right now, it's still pretty dark. It is healing. Um, it looks fantastic. So, yeah, go eat breakfast and then I will check back in with you girls later. Bye. you guys what I picked up from Target yesterday not very much but just a few things um, and then uh, also you guys saw me make my little coffee with my little coffee machine um, I love that thing um, great little $40 investment um, like I said in the previous vid video I think it is a perfect little accessory for an office or for a first uh, apartment but it did come with this um, uh, cup for my iced coffee um, it is really really cute it has a um, button for hot coffee cold coffee it came with a little measuring cup as you could um, that I was measuring um, the coffee in um, it makes coffee really really um, good so anyway I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of it because I know I didn't show it to you in the last video but definitely check it out um, if you you know, don't want to spend a lot of money on a coffee machine, you know, because I am a coffee snob. I do love my Keurig, but like I said, I'm really thinking about investing in a Nespresso machine, but I'll let you guys know. But anyway, let's get on with what I picked up from Target. So first things first is I did do um, an, online, an online order for the Raffia um, uh, wedges. So I need to... Um, pick those up because I did like a, a pickup order. I just haven't picked them up yet. So I will pick those up and then when I pick them up, I will um, show you guys in another vlog because I think those will really be cute with the dress that I got from H&M with the size out. If I add this bag, OMG, I think this would be the perfect um, accessory to go with it. So here is the clutch. It has a gold zipper on it and then um, lots of room on the inside and of course it has no structure but it does have the um, little magnetic clasp to kind of keep it closed um, even though I would just carry it like this once I put my things in it but this is a, a perfect little spring bag I think it is so so cute um, like I said, these are the colors that I'm really going for for this summer. Um, lots of neutrals. I do love color, so I will dibble and dabble, da dibble and dabble in color. But since I'm pretty much going to need to buy a lot of new things, I'm going to go with some a lot of neutrals. That's what that's what I've been gravitating towards. So neutrals and pink. So yeah, we we shall see. But anyway, pick that up. And then I just got a few skincare items um, from the buy three, get one free. Now, today is Sunday. You guys will be seeing this video later today. 
So I apologize if the buy three, get one sale is not still going on. Um, however, that little premium section in Target is so, so good. I had no idea that they sold the mix bar in that area. That's a perfect little um, size if you don't want to get the big bottle. Like I said, the big bottle, I think it's between eight and $11. I'm not real sure, but the coconut scent, which is the one that I have, smells it, it smells really, really good. Perfect summer um, little mist. Now, I did go ahead and use these products already today because I'm trying to come up with like a skincare routine. Um, my skin has really been acting up. Um, not real sure why. I don't know if it was because of um, the diet change. <laughs> I know it's because of hormones. I know that first and foremost, but my diet became a whole lot better. I hadn't been drinking any alcohol, but it seems like I was just constantly, constantly breaking out. So I want to get on some type of skincare routine. So I'm going to be trying different little products. Now I do use um, The Ordinary and um, I have some Kiehl's at home. So I'll kind of rotate between those two, but I did pick up this Pacifica glow baby it's a brightening face wash face wash even out um even out exfoliate and cleanse plus aha vitamin c um and vanilla okay sulfate free so i did use this this morning it doesn't really lather <laughs> but i don't know if i need a lot of lather on my face y'all know how i feel about lather right okay so try i'm trying this out and then i went in with this burst daily brightening solution you guys can see that so i went in with that um it's four acid complexion uh bearberry extract uh let's see i have my glasses hold on um oh this is some fine print saturate a cotton pad and gently swipe across clean dry skin so yeah am or you can use this in the am or pm after cleansing but before serums and moisturizers so i did use this after um, i cleansed and then i went in with this versed moisturizing gel cream and then after that I went in with this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. So, so yeah, these are the little products that I got from Tarjay. Um, I'm gonna use them for a while just to see if I see a difference um, in my complexion. Um, I did have a pimple <laughs> that kind of did not want me to be great, um, but I immediately you did, uh, started using my Kiehl's face, face wash and it went away so yeah but yeah that is it guys um i hope you guys are having i hope you guys are having an amazing um sunday i am just relaxing um my friend charlene put me on to this new show called family business so that's what i'm currently watching right now first episode um because there's nothing really on tv to watch um if any of you already if you watch um Married at First Sight. If you watch Married at First Sight, then you already know that the season has ended. Next week will be the reunion. And surprisingly, guys, everybody stayed together. Now, I did want Jasmina. I did want Jasmina and Michael to stay together because I think Michael um, will be a great husband, you know, eventually because he, they're both very young, but he has the potential to just be a really, really good husband. Um, the rest of them, I really didn't care. I still think Elijah Wan is a low-key narcissist, but Katina seems to really, really like him. So, mm, girl, that's her business, okay? Um, Love and Marriage Huntsville has been really good. So, I'm kind of just waiting on Housewives of Potomac. Um, I'm also waiting on the new Housewives, the one with Monique, with um, Housewives of D.C., and then um, P Valley is coming back on June the 3rd. I cannot wait. I love P Valley. So, but anyway, guys, as far as a Sunday message, um, I really just want to um, say to everyone out there um, 
first of all, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. All of the love and support um, that I receive for you guys is so, so motivating. And it inspires me to continue to be um, very transparent and to be um, just authentic on my channel. Um, I love sharing with you guys. Um, you guys know that um, sharing is caring, okay? We are not supposed to just keep information and not share with people. I've done so many things in my life. Um, I've lost weight. I had a tummy tuck. Um, I've gotten divorced, gotten remarried. I've been, in, you know, I've just done so much and it really um, helps me to help you guys. You know, is, does that make sense? Like it really, really motivates me um, and it makes me feel good when I'm sharing um, how I have improved my life and then I can give you guys tips um, and you can either use them or you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? You can always um, chew the meat and spit out the bones, right? Okay, so just take what you need from what I'm giving you and then apply it to your life. So with that being said, um, many of you have commented that you really want to get a tummy tuck and my advice to you guys is to just just do it. Just do it. Stop hoping. Stop wishing. If it is something that is really, really, if it is something that you really desire to do, then you need to put it in the universe and then start taking steps um, towards getting it done, right? You need to first and foremost have a consultation and then whatever the doctor tells you from then on out, that is what you need to be working towards, okay? Um, you do have to lose weight um, and that is because getting a tummy tuck or an, an abdominal plasty is not a weight loss surgery. He, you are only getting the loose skin removed from your tummy. Okay, that's all you're getting done. So you are. Not, it is not a weight loss surgery. So in order for you to have optimum results, you have to lose weight. You can. You, the doctor is not going to want to do a, t a tummy tuck on you. Because if you get a tummy tuck and then you try to lose weight, you're not going to have optimum results. So that is the main reason why you have to lose the weight. So that is why y'all saw me up in that gym working out because, of course, I had to work. I had to do the work in order to get my tummy tuck. So and low key, y'all, I missed the gym. I really, really missed the gym. So I think next week I'm going to start um, walking on the track. I'm not gonna push myself too hard, but I feel so good. I don't have any pain. I will occasionally have some burning in my incision, but guys, I haven't had, I haven't taken narco in over 48 hours, so I feel great. Um, but yeah, guys, start working towards whatever it is you desire. Like make a plan, write it down, make it plain and start working towards it. Say your affirmations. Um, anything that you desire in this life is attainable. However, you have to put in the necessary work. You have to prepare yourself for the blessing that God is going to give you. It's only a matter of time before he gives you what it is that you ultimately desire. So put in that work, girl. Put in the work, okay? But yeah, guys, that is all I have on this Good Self-Care Sunday. I really wanted to get this video done early for you guys so I can get it up at a decent hour because I have been uploading kind of late. But that's just because, you know, your girl has been in chill mode, okay? But after next week, um, I do go back to work um, in about, I don't know, eight or nine days. I don't know. I haven't. It's not time for me to start counting, but the countdown is on. So next week, I really want to be a lot, um, a lot more active um, as far as doing things, getting out of the house, um, and trying to put in more work for put in a little bit of work towards um, exercising, but just walking because I'm still on a restriction from doing any kind of um, weightlifting or in anything other than walking. So my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to become a She Is Fab family member. If you were an oldie but a goodie girl, you know I love you. So yeah, guys, thank you so, so much. Um, leave me any comments or questions you have down in the description. I will um, link the bag. I'm trying to get better at these links, y'all, okay? Take me slow. Take me slow. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.